Hello guys, this is Joe here as normal and today I am doing a brand new tutorial on uh, group management so all you need to do is sit back and watch this video and uh, hopefully I can answer most of your questions and some uh, little worries people have with this plugin. So yeah, I've already set just a test server up on my uh, computer. I've already put the files in and all you need to do is go to uh, Google or sorry, go down into the description and uh, pick up these links. So you need the group management link and you need the essentials link. So this is being developed by the actual dis um, Spigot team, I think, it is on uh, the Spigot website. And also you need uh, this link for all your essential permissions. So yeah, let's uh, wait for that to load. Or actually, let's actually start the server up. Ready to go. So we're just going to start up. So this is, uh, I'm going over every single point. So we're going to load the map up. Nice and simple. Make sure Essentials is loaded. So uh, yeah, we're just going to quickly pop in Minecraft. And just let that load up there. Play online. Just wait for it to load up. Multiplayer. And here we go. Now let's join the server. Right in, as you can see, nice and simple. Uh, I am going to up myself and rejoin because sometimes Essentials doesn't actually uh, fully start up for some odd reason. I do not know. But we're going to go back in. Oh no, it's fully started up now. So uh, yeah, you got once you've got all this showing up, it's all started up. So now what we're going to do, we are going to disconnect, minimize, and go into our plugins folder. And you'll have two folders, you'll have Essentials and Group Management. You want to go into the Group Management folder. Before you do anything, I want you to go into the main config and uh, look at your save data or, you know, your save times. I want you to turn this to about 60 to, let's say 30. This is instead of it just pasting loads of backups in your uh, backup folder, you won't do that. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, save that. All done. So yeah, this is where it's all going to paste once it backs up every so often. So now we're going to go into worlds, worlds, groups. So yeah, now hopefully I'm not going to confuse anyone. If you don't understand, uh, I'm going to have this complete uh, config of, with a download off Mediafire. So hopefully uh, it will help you. So all you need to do, lay back as I said and uh, hopefully watch the video. First, thing, first things I remember. I recommend is just to copy false, stick false up here, copy true, and stick that down there. Now what this is doing, it is not, so when somebody first joins your server, they will not be put as the default rank, they will be put as a builder. In our case, we're going to change the name to player. You can stick a capital letter if you want, I am. So yeah, that is nice and simple, player sorted. Now, this rank has actually already got permissions set up in the global permissions file, or the global group, sorry. This one has not, so if you actually use this file, you would have to come down and keep adding permissions all the way. But we don't want to mess around with that, uh, we want to just get to a point and get people ongoing when they can go and play on the server. So yeah, so once you've done that, you've got your player file folder. So. Now we're gonna we're gonna just leave uh, permissions off. I'm gonna cover that in just a second, but we're gonna just go into inheritance. So this is inheriting the default here, and it is uh, inheriting the essentials underscore builder folder. Now, if we just quickly save that and go out here, it is actually reading from the globals group folder, as you can see here, essentials underscore builder. I recommend just leaving these names, don't bother changing them, but I do recommend taking a few things away. Because of the new Minecraft Fuel, you've got to find ways to give your donators better perks and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, I rec recommend you take uh, chat colour out, uh, chat format and all that. Take that out, uh, keep questions in, uh, ignore. Uh, hat, that is a good, you know, these are the ones that I'm taking out really are for donators, you know, you can give them away and, you know, and get some money for your server. So it'll stay up, uh, we'll take uh, colours out of private messages as well, that can be, I think, oh, Nick, that can be a donator as well. 
power tools. I don't really give uh, players that option. Yet yeah, these look like all like normal. So yeah, now the builder folder will be reading off all this here just for that. And you know, in case and all the default folder. So that little default group is reading off just these permissions, nothing else. So you really want to uh, have the builder folder or to people let let your players in straight into the builder or player in our case so uh yeah hopefully you're all following along all right if i'm going uh if you need any more help please add me on skype and all that good stuff and now i think this is the admin folder so yeah these are your admin commands i think or in my opinion i do not let uh admins use the whitelist commands I think that's only for operators and uh, yeah so maybe take them out and uh, if you if you like me and you spend a lot of time on your plugins and stuff like that I even get a uh, set of plugins to hide my plugins because you know if you spend a lot of time you know finding the right plugins for your server you don't want people to look at them admins yeah because you know you're gonna know them but just be you know wary of that and never stuff like that but uh, moderators, you know, you can have an uh, unban kick and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, let's save. And uh, so now, the what I've edited in there is the builder file folder, or builder file, uh, little permission nodes, I'm sorry. I come, in, I come in back into worlds, into groups. So now, this is reading off it as you... As it says here, essentials underscore builder, and that's got uh, spawn and all, all all them commands. What I what you saw in that little list there. So yeah, so yeah, that, that's a new word. So now we're gonna add a prefix. So as you can come down here to your prefix name brackets, you could actually you know change this stuff. I could change that to blue for the player uh, and B. Then you could do brackets. And before I want to go away, I want to do uh, and to again to reconvert so at the moment it's going uh, green bracket uh, the color of player will be blue but you don't want the end bracket to be uh, blue you want it to be green as the one before so it's uh, and two now some people do forget this but you want to just hit space hit space there it puts a separate in between the name and uh, so the prefix and the name so you're yeah, nice and si nice and simple and what I normally add here, oh, there goes my phone. What I normally add here, I normally add and F. So that is just for white. So you still got this little gap, and uh, the name is going to be in white. So now we're going to move uh, on to suffixes. Suffixes. Yep, that's the right word. It, it sort of says it, it. Instead of being before the name, it will be after the name. So uh, yeah, we're going to leave that, and that's how you do that. Now hopefully, oh yeah, it's all fully loaded up. So now, these are your permission nodes. So let's say I wanted to add uh, slash feed to player. I don't know why you would, but you might as well do it. So nice and simple. So as I'll, I'll re-repeat that, let's go back. So you want to get rid of these brackets, enter, backspace, all the way back. Then slowly space in. To these brackets line up with these and that's a little tip there as long as you got all that in the right order you'll be perfect space and paste the permission in there so that is your permission node sorted so this player will get uh, a slash feed so I'm gonna actually make a new player and I'm gonna call it player 2 to make it easier now to add add a player or add a group you need to just you know select anything like this then just go over player copy as again enter backspace 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 paste and so everything lines up nice and easily and I'm gonna stick a two on there and I'm gonna stick a two in here so uh, now that's a player two created of the groups so now I'm actually gonna get rid of uh, slash feed and I'm going to stick in slash fly. So uh, when you're as this group, the default group, oh yeah, make sure you uh, change this to false. So we save all that. So when people join the server, they'll come into this group and you could have this uh, group as a donation kit and they'll get slash fly. So yeah, now we've done all that, we don't have to stop the server. 
man load to reload that plugin back onto Minecraft. Oh, sorry, I you might want to do one more thing delete the user's file because it might confuse some some things. Man load again, recreates it all nice and simple. Uh, let's reload the server or go back into the server. So, as you see here. It's just saying uh, slash player. So I deleted all the user files. I get actually put into that player. Sorry for about the laggy screen. I am screen recording. So yes, I am going to de up myself for this demonstration. D up, and now when I talk, it's just uh, going to be white for the color. So uh, yeah, so now I should be able to sla do slash feed, slash feed, but I will not be able to do slash fly. So now we're going to go into the config and we're going to do man new add quad bamper to player 2. And as you can see, you are moved to player 2 in the world. Now, I will not be able to do slash feed, but I will be able to do slash fly. So yeah, nice and easy. And uh, we're going to go with one more thing. So let's say you don't want to make a whole new group just for your friend, just to add permissions. You can actually just add permissions to their folder. So what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm just going to drag this onto my other screen, but it is here. And I'm going to just find another permission. I keep saying that wrong. Okay, I have got one. I'm going to be adding essentials.game mode. So as you see, you know, they'll be able to do GM1. Right then, we have to go into the config because I'm not opt. So we're going to do man new add p quad bamba space, and I'm going to paste in the permission. Uh, let's do paste. So that is permission. Now, if you actually see here, it's man new add p. Make sure you don't forget a p if you're adding just a single permission to a player. Now. This is the best way to do it for players. If you're adding permissions to groups, I highly recommend to go to the config and add it yourself instead of doing commands. If you've got a bit of touch of OCD, with you know, I have got a touch because I like neat configs, and you know, especially when you're adding a lot of permissions, you want it all there. If you start adding uh, permissions from, I think it's uh, manual add uh, G to add sync to the groups. It starts getting difficult and it actually messes up all your config so your owner will be at the top, your player will be at the bottom and your moderator will be high and your admin. But it will still work but it's your, uh, that's my opinion so if you don't if you don't want to do that, don't. So I'm going to add that to my uh, group file so I've got that permission now. So see, still de-upped but game mode 1, there we go. Nice and simple and uh, also we can do, we could do, uh, ooh, let's get, that's not supposed to be there, uh, I think it's N, right, there we go, so we'll just quickly reload to make sure, right, there we go, manual add, now I think it is just delete, so now I have removed that permission from my uh, group. So now we're going to just do game mode zero, but we won't be allowed. So yeah, that's a nice easy way. I hope this tutorial has helped. I might have rushed it a little bit, but if you actually need you know, help, please add me on Skype. The Skype name down there is the public Skype name and stuff like that. That is for you guys, so I can help you and with with these types of problems. And uh, yeah, and this hopefully this group management file will be in the description. What I am going to do, I am going to do for you, I'm going to uh, set all the prefixes and stuff like that. And uh, nice and simple. And don't worry, my player file, I will remove uh, the, you know, I'll remove the uh, game mode. I won't have any permissions on your server, but it'll be nice and simple for you, for you lot to get uh, going. I do want to just remind you, because I'm giving out this uh, file just here, I won't be giving out any of the others because... I don't really have the rights, but please go and check out the group management, say thank you and everything like that. Go and say thank you to Essentials. All nice and awesome, so I hoped I have helped you today. And uh, yeah, so uh, as, as it starts raining, so what a great time. So thank you a lot. Please subscribe, please like this video. 
and uh, I will see you next time, maybe in a few new series, but we don't know. I will see you next time. As I said, goodbye.